Now, if you do have symptoms, they could include thirst, and that thirst can be quite severe. Then again, you may experience nausea and even vomiting, or you may notice an unexplained weight loss without any significant changes to your diet. And of course, you might also have a sweet tooth. Another obvious symptom can be increased fatigue and irritability. Well, if that's you, it's estimated that there's a one in four chance that these symptoms are a sign that you may have this disease. Again, you may experience problems with your vision. It may become blurred. These are noticeable changes. Also, any wounds that you get, you may start to notice that they don't heal as quickly as they should. You may be passing a lot of urine, especially at night, having to get up to pass urine several times in the night. You may experience certain infections, such as recurring attacks of boils or recurrent episodes of thrush, for women in particular. And of course, they're being treated for this thrush because the actual symptoms are thrush, but the cause of their infection may actually be diabetes, and that should be diagnosed. An unusual tingling or numbness in the hands or feet can occur and that might be a symptom of diabetes because it damages the nerves. Now the way to diagnose diabetes is actually quite simple. You just take a little stick, dip it in the urine and you can buy these sticks from the chemist and they're called clinic sticks. And for about £5 you can get around 50 tests. So you can test yourself, test your family, test your friends. And if this dipstick changes in colour after you've dipped it in the urine. This means there's sugar in your urine. Then you must go and see your GP who will do a blood test to confirm whether you've actually got diabetes itself. I'll be reporting on some preventative measures to take with regard to diabetes soon and how to possibly control it without medication. But for now, from me, Dr Chris, I wish you all the best of health.